Welcome to the O'Reilly Auto Parts World of Wheels here in Chicago. This event is the end of the season for the indoor car show crowd. And boy, there are some incredible, incredible vehicles. Whether it's a hot rod, a street machine, a low rider, a true one-off custom, a lifted truck, or one of those traditional rods, you'll pretty much find it right here at the Chicago World of Wheels. Hey, let's take a look at some of the great rides featured right here at the World of Wheels. Hello, I'm Andrew Petrello and I'm the owner of the 1962 Resto Mod Corvette. This is Mike Pianidosi, the builder, and together we built this car about four years ago. I've owned it for approximately seven. We uh, modified it to maintain the stock look of uh, the 62 Corvette muscle car that added all the enhancements to make it a modern day driver. Mike? We, uh, we, we decided to go with a custom color on this car to give something that nobody else has seen. We started off with a 2014 Chevrolet Platinum. We uh, modified and twisted it with more metallic in the Platinum. You'll see in the black coves it actually has gold metallic to complement the Platinum. Uh, the power plant is a 383 stroker with a Tremix 5 speed, uh, all custom modified, a lot of the bracketry, uh, heater ducts and everything of that nature for the AC and everything are custom modified made bracketry. Um, the interior, we uh, took the OEM seats and we modified those with some of the new memory foam and six hides of leather, leather later, we built the interior. All custom made to fit Drew, a little shorter guy, so he needed a little padding in there to get him to the steering wheel. Uh, the car is equipped with uh, the original 62 frame on Jim Myers racing suspension, coil over four link in the rear. Uh, the interior and dash is equipped with Dakota Digital, a seven inch touchscreen, backup camera, all the modern technology. Uh, a lot of the uh, hours in the vehicle, obviously being a fiberglass vehicle, a lot of blocking, a lot of straightening. But overall, we're very happy with the build. Uh, had a lot of fun with the car. This is our second season showing the vehicle. And uh, we're really having a good time here with World of Wheels. They've been an honor for us to make it to national championship this year. And we hope to do the best we can. So at the end of the day, we're here just to have a good time and show people what we're capable of doing. We started off this build just to make a driver, show quality driver for outdoor shows. Built it, drove it for maybe a year on the out there uh, local shows and down in uh, Florida shows, charity shows. Then we decided to take it to the next level. Always wanted to do an ISCA judge show indoor to see what we could do. So we learned a lot about the system, dismantled the car again, did some more paint work, some more modifications, entered it in the first show and we did very well. Learned all, a lot of the ins and outs of the show what we needed to do to progress in in the competition took it back to Mike's shop took it apart again and then modified it to get it to the point where we became a contender in the finals yeah the car the car originally built we we did a lot of things just to make it a very nice driver uh, to enjoy the road uh, we actually upgraded with the AC and things of that nature so that he could enjoy it and then be down in the cruise in the coast and and burning up the beaches. Um, at the end of all the driving and fun, you know, he chose to put it in the ISCA. Uh, that day was a really fun day in the office. He come in, we're over sitting there drinking coffee and he decided to tell me he had a surprise for me. And that surprise was I had to get the car ready in 14 days for the ISCA circuit. So me and my guys shut down the whole shop just for this car to get it ready for the ISCA last year. Uh, we placed first place the first three shows we ever put it in, in our class and category. Uh, ended the season off with three points, didn't have enough to come here for nationals last year. So we decided this year we were going to go all out. Uh, took the car, like Drew said, all the way back apart, repainted, upgraded a lot of the things that the judges were so nice to let us know what we could do to build a better car, for me to be a better builder. So at the end of the day, after four shows, a lot of work, here we are in national championship in 2019. And when we're very honored to be here to compete against some of the other cars that we're up against. Uh, there's some really tough cars here and some beautiful cars. First of all, we, when we built the car, we wanted to stay with the original muscle car theme. 1962, big engines, carbureted engines, but we wanted to add a modern twist to it. So we detailed out the engine, did a complete smooth firewall, 
uh, air conditioning system brought all hit all the lines and brought things in through the fender wells and obviously did a dress on on the engine so we're uh, it's a 383 stroker carbureted roughly around 420 horsepower and then in the interior it's it's hooked up to a Tremec 5 speed and a hydraulic clutch so it makes it easy easy to drive nice uh, transmission uh, four-wheel wheel wood disc brakes as for the engine and the hood we uh, decided to do away with all the old latch system and go with the linear actuator to raise and lower the hood. So we had to make all the custom mounts and all the closeout panels to make that work. So in the interior, we tried to make it more comfortable for, to ride in. So we took the base seats and had them built to fit me with uh, modern padding leather stitch dash, uh, the Vinnie JC with the custom uh, vent panels, touch screen, backup camera, and just some real simplistic uh, 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 controls to make the car modern. Then in the uh, dashboard, it's a, a Dakota Digital uh, dash. It uh, has, it's an all an analog gauge, but it's all digitally controlled, so it makes it very accurate and very easy to read and just adds to the whole theme of the car. So in the trunk area, it's all custom leather with the uh, embroidery and the logo. I carry a full-size spare because I do take this on the street and on outdoor shows. And all the, throughout the car, we converted all the LED lighting so it can be, you know, you can see front and back. In here, you get a better shot of the digital gauges. Uh, and the highlight, and we picked red just to complement the rest of the car in the, in the color combinations. Uh, when you build these cars for ISCA standards, you want to stick to a theme, and our theme was to keep it to be looking like a 1962 Corvette, which was pretty much everybody's dream car of our age and era. The chrome and the glass is all standard stock, 1962 and 1961. Corvette. Again, we wanted to stay with the theme, something that you could attain and get parts for. Everything is totally functional. Uh, some of the chrome on this car is still original and polished out and uh, have a complete functional heart, uh, soft top for it. And we have a uh, matching uh, black uh, hard top that goes with it. Although this is in the ISCA indoor circuit, uh, last summer I drove it to a lot of outdoor shows, probably put about 1,500 miles on it. And uh, so the modern suspension and the steering and the transmission has made it a very fun car to drive. Has a lot of the modern characteristics of the newer cars and it rides on a rail. One of the features we added was the linear actuator for the Dakota Digital. Uh, it's an automatic hood closure. And there it goes.
and I'd like to give credit to Mike Pianadosi, the owner of Georgia Mountain Customs in jo Jasper, Georgia, as a builder and collaborator on this car with me. It's been a great experience having the honor to work with somebody with so much talent and make my dream come true. Well, Drew, it's been an honor to build the car for you. Um, it, it was a great design between the two of us. Uh, it took a lot of beating our heads against the wall. Uh, it took us actually a little over a month and a half just to pick the colors. Every day do a spray out, look out in the sun, try to figure out what was the best color. Uh, all the way down to every nut and bolt that we decided where we're going to use uh, chrome heads, Allen heads, it, all over the whole, the whole spectrum. Uh, we built this car in 14 months, the original build, and there again, we didn't build it for ISCA, but at the end of the day, here we are, national championship uh, contest, uh, and we're one of 16 cars. So it's an honor to have built the car. Uh, Georgia Mountain Customs is very proud to be a part of this. My guys back home are, are heavily working on five different restorations as we speak. So we're a bunch of busy guys just trying to help people's dreams come true. So I thank everything that uh, Drew has given me an opportunity to do. We became best friends throughout the process, and we just really enjoy what we do uh, for this elaboration of this talk. Thank you.